You bastard! We sound horrible at the minute. You know, I... Give a listen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Subscribe to Jonesy and Steve. Get on it, come on. Right, international break is done. Thank God for that, because I hate them. Here we are back again with another match preview. This time it's QPR versus Sunderland on Saturday down in the big smoke. Right, but before we go any further, last game, Stephen, we didn't take a video off there, which we probably should have. Sunderland battered the living shite out of Southampton 5-0. <laughs> We'd like to give a couple of shout-outs to two people. One didn't get the correct score, but he's been coming this score, and I'm, I'm going to poke fun of him, really. Covent Race, D, you rip, you, you said six, and it was five. And there's Callum. Callum, who's, who's, I know he loves this channel. He he's been in our videos a few times when we used to go to the derby before the game. He's always in the derby, and I know he'll be watching. Callum says 5-0 for every single Sunderland game. It's not just a picks one, it's 5-0 every game. He puts two pound on every, or should I say his dad puts two pound on every game, and he won 502 quid against Southampton. So drinks are on you next time I see you, mate. <laughs> right, for the shirt giveaway for the Ericsson Top, it's gone to a channel member. And we've got three more shirts coming. If you want to be a channel member, link is in the description. So basically what that means is we've got two live streams coming up. One on Saturday for QPR, one next Wednesday evening game against Blackburn. One of them games, we will be getting all the channel members, putting their names in a hat, and we'll be drawing the name, the winner of the Denmark Ericsson shirt live on YouTube during the match. Now, the last live stream I've done went very well, and I'm expecting all of you who are watching to come and watch us on Saturday, or you should be getting rang. Right, as we all know now that the window is officially shut, it's been shut for two weeks now, we now know what, who we've got in our squad until at least January. The signings were made. Uh, Rusin, although yes, we signed them before the deadline, we still haven't got that scarf pick. Well, this morning, the club officially announced that we have that scarf pick, so in my eyes, Rusin is now a Sunderland player. Yep. Welcome, Rusin. Um, the other three players that were signed on deadline day. Uh, Aushish. Aushish, Dem uh, Pembele, Pembele, and what's that lad Barstow. called? Barstow, that's the one. I, I always call him Brewster and I didn't know why. They all got unveiled on the pitch before uh, the Southampton game. Now I'm talking about the Southampton game. Uh, that leads us on to the Southampton Aye. game. Now, me and Stephen done a vlog and we were inside the stadium and we were... Before we were even were doing any recording out like that, we were looking at each other saying, what's going on? We were literally flabbergasted at the, how well Sunderland were playing. Not only that, we started quick, straight out the blocks, 54 seconds or whatever it was, one out. I was just, I couldn't believe what I was watching. But it was ironic because we started quick, obviously, we scored in 55 seconds. Mm. But before that, they got a corner. They did, I. And I turned around to him and went, oh God, that's a good start. <laughs> and then 15 seconds later, it was. <laughs> it was a great start. It was a great start. Like, like I said, Stephen, we, we were talking, we've just been on um, a, like a stadium tour where I sit in with Nick Barnes and Chris Oliver, Oliver, who's on SES Who Dares Wins on Channel 4, for so those of you who are watching. watch that. He's a, he's a Sunderland lad, Sunderland fan. Uh, um, if you watch it, you'll recognise his accent straight away. Uh, and also Martin Scott, ex-Sunderland player, was there as well. And funny enough, our tour guide watches our channels. <laughs> Stan so, Foster, thank you, for the, thank, you for the, uh, thank you for the tour. And one thing I'm going to have to mention before I go any further, shout out to the groundsman, Stephen, that oh. pitch looks absolutely amazing. It does, it's absolutely it fantastic. The groundsman was there doing his, doing, sorry, doing his job, but the, the pitch is looking absolutely fantastic. I believe uh, Paul took a picture of it, and no doubt he'll link them in somewhere on these uh, during right. this video, but uh, it was great. And one of the highlights for me, which Paul was like, oh my God, mm. and the, the, the thing where I went, when I played on the pitch, Guess whose guess who's shirt was there? That's right. My mate, Mr. Sunderland, Luke on iron. I'll, well, put, hey. I'll put a picture up. Yeah. <laughs> He's in apparently, a apparently, he found out that that's where I sat, and then he requested that seat. He did, I. He actually did. <laughs> <laughs> well, quickly got sidetracked a little. Back around the South Appen game, Stephen, we play better. Like I was saying, I was talking to the tour guide, and I was saying to him, we play better when we come up against the team who want to come to Stadium Light and play football. Yeah. Who didn't sit in and try and catch us on the counter. And it played into our hands. Great tactics by Mowbray. Everything worked. And one player who's becoming a little bit of a fan favourite, Pierre Equa, getting two goals as well for the yeah. lads. I said, when I said it in the last vlog, before the, like, the first game of the season, I said, he's going to get a handful of goals by shooting outside the box. And he's got two of them on frigging, uh, against Southampton. He's been, he's been trying his luck. A, 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 like, I think he's had at least one shot in every game mm -hmm. from outside the box, but he's got a, he's got some left foot on him. He really has. Yeah, I. I mean, even last towards the end of last season, I think he tried a couple, and we were like, Whoa. Oh, but yeah, now yeah. he's getting them on target, and I think there's going to be more where that come from. He's just a phenomenal player. He's strong. He's box to box, 
and he, he just he dictates play. And I said before the season started, he's going to be one to watch, and I think he'll be in the championship team in the season. And as long as he avoids injuries, I think that's nailed on. Mike Wipoff said that exact same yeah. thing, and I'm glad we're seeing it on camera because people can go back and have a look. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Instead right. of just saying, "Wait, well, you're talking shit years too." We actually did. Um, also, while we're talking about good news. Tony Mowbray's contract obviously got automatically extended because we finished sixth in last season. Mm -hmm. that, is that straight on it? But he's basically he's at the end of 20. We've we'll extended for another 12 month high, basically. basically. But that's good news for Sullen. Certainly is. He, he's 100% been behind the mould from day one. Like me and him says, it's just been sloppy journalism, you know, when the, 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 the try and dig for something that's not there, really. And Mowbray fits the mould. He works well with good players, Stephen. Oh, he does. He brings them he's, he's proved that. He's proved Leaps that. And he's proved it not just here, but he's proved it to the clubs he's been at. So, long may it continue. Right. I mean, just look at that. Sorry. Oh, don't go on. We, we, can't, we can't move on from the Southampton game without no, mentioning no, no, the, no, no. the cherry on the cake. Which, yeah, 5 0 was fantastic. But that fifth goal, the three Maradonas by Bennett. I mean, in the two were needed, and the third one he just flung in for shits and giggles. <laughs> and then young Chrissy Rigg jumping up like a. He, 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 he scored that header like a freaking seasoned pro. Hello. Down a header across the keeper. Boom. Made it five. Then Happy days. Quickly on them Maradonas, though. <laughs> like, you know, to finish it off with an assist as well, though. That, oh, exactly. That was, I. Uh, me and you were just looking like, what, what's going on? <laughs> it did, was like, when did, we were watching the spins, it was like, hey, hey, hey. And then it was like, just jubilation. Uh, <laughs> jubilation when Rick's got That was a very, it was like a showman. Like, uh, jubilation. <laughs> oh, you may be giving your stick here. Uh, uh, I was good. I'm used to it. Right. Um, but I, like I was saying there, uh, Mowbray, it tells the young players to express themselves. And I'm glad he does. I'm glad he doesn't restrict them or anything mm. and just say, play the simple pass. Because just look at uh, the way Bennett played that. And obviously, Chrissy Rigg, he's coming on leaps and bounds. Oh, yeah. Talk about Clark and all. He's been outstanding for yeah. us. But you know, what Clark? Someone, who, someone who was reportedly unhappy that we didn't sell oh. him. He seemed pretty happy against Southampton. People talk a load of shite. Of course they do. Of course and, they and do. And then let's come back on about Roberts. I've seen a lot on social media that people have been saying it would be harsh to drop Barr. In a sense, I, I tend to agree. But for me, Roberts always comes in that starting eleven. He's, 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 it's his spot. Um, well, you don't know what's going to happen. We've had, we've had certain, know, but what we've, had cer do? we've had certain players away on international breaks. Yeah. Um, I know Ballard missed the first Northern Ireland game because he took a knock against Southampton, which we all seen. But, he, but then he played again. He played last night, so and he apparently came through the whole game. So hopefully we're going to come back with with no injuries on top. Mowbray, I, I think he will find it hard to change the team after winning five 0 against Southampton. Uh, but we've got like we've got the new signings. We've got the new signings as well. It, I think it's, it's been very harsh to drop anybody, but I'm sure it, 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 the, it, they're all professionals and it's in their game. I do believe that whatever he does, the players will understand because it's for the right reasons. But um, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. Are you right? I totally agree. Right now, then moving on to South. Busy down here today, isn't it? Oh, no. Put us off, lad. Busy. There's people with bloody boxes. There's fucking five people in a micro, you don't say that every day. Yeah, I did I even get in it, to be honest. <laughs> right now, quickly, <laughs> sidetracked a bit. Moving on to the QBR game on Saturday, obviously we're playing away. Ainsworth, the sort of up and down at the minute, I would say QBR, it's very early doors. They lost the first game, getting battered five, four nil, sorry, off Wofford. They bounced back with a 2-1 win away at Cardiff. Then they lost three in a row. They did, including the cup against Norwich. Ipswich are flying, Southampton, it can be expected, and then but the surprise victory that absolutely battered the living shit out of Middlesbrough. But that's not surprise at the minute because Middlesbrough has been shocking yes. this season. I was about to shock them. They just cannot Stum. score. They cannot. They cannot score. Ever since they've lost Akin Pom, they, <laughs> <laughs> they, they just cannot score. Nah. Uh, I hope it stays that way until the early October when we play them. But nah, I um, you know, I'm still not worried about QPR. I mean, I'm not going to get too cocky and things like that. But uh, I, do, I, I don't rate it as the manager. I don't rate QPR as a team. Um, I know if your fans are watching this, I'm sorry, I just don't. I think you're looking to stay up last season, and, and because you signed that ginger Geordie bastard, I'm never going to like you anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Well, we'll, we'll get to him later on. I'll, I'll uh, bring this back to you know on a more level playing field. Um, <laughs> Stephen's got some issues with QPR. Uh, well, not QPR. I would say so much Jack Holback, which is understandable. Jack Holback scored. <laughs> to be honest, he's not like most places he guns. Maybe Forrest. That's about it. From all the time he's been at Forest, he's already scored a quarter of the amount of goals he did for Forest at QPR. He's off the score sheet already, he scored two, on the score sheet even. He scored two for them. Um, listen, he might have found his level. I'm not in any disrespect to QPR, that we sound horrible at the minute. 
Cute we are listening to Stephen Wars week when he said they were looking to stay up under Ainsworth. And at, at the beginning, I predicted them to go down. And I did say you're best off sacking him now rather than later because, to be honest, he's not a very good manager. I've, I've got I, I tipped them at the start of the season, and there's video proof I've tipped them to get relegated. Same. But as long as they keep Ainsworth, they'll go down. Yep, that, that's what I believe. But, like, any, any, I haven't got any bitter feelings towards QPR, let's be honest. I here. didn't until they signed him. Mainly Jack, Jack Callback. Like, yeah. they, they've got a, a, quite a few good players in the team, so. Oh, they have. They have to name a few. They've got uh, Lyndon. L Lyndon? Oh, that's Lyndon right. Dykes. That's right. I've, I've filled, filled up with him when I heard Lyndon because yeah. he's gone. Um, oh, no, Lyndon Dykes at QPR. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a threat to, uh, up top. Um, they've got Ilias Chair still there, who scored the free kick against us last season oh, okay. um, when we were tuning up with. Uh, Injury time, uh, injury time to go, and we managed to screw, screw it up. <laughs> um, who else have they got? Uh, they've, they've brought in Steve Cook as well from Forest. Yeah. He's a decent player. They've replaced the goalkeeper who scored the dying second equaliser <laughs> against us last season. Uh, what's he called? Semi Dieng or D Demi Siang or whatever something his name like was. That, whatever like his name was. He's gone, and they've replaced him with Begovic, who's he's kept a clean sheet in his last game. It's against Middlesbrough. I'd keep a clean sheet against Middlesbrough <laughs> at the minute. Uh, Begovic, so he's getting on a bit. I think he's older than God's dog. It's blooming there. Uh, so, you know, I, 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 I do believe we're going to be too much for them. Um, I don't think we're going to the game complacent about because we beat Southampton. I just think that the way we play football, I just think we're going to be too much for them. I totally agree. Like our flat play <coughs> up, up the pitch is going to be, yeah, it's going to find it hard to handle. I hope when we're going down there, the day give us a game and the, the day try and come out and play football because then it'll just play strike in our hands like we said about Southampton that's the type of teams we like to come up against but if it's backs against the wall we might probably nick it up one or two I'm moving on to the Sunderland team uh, like I say we've spoken a little bit about the Southampton game and how how, how fabulous it was yep um, we, we've already discussed if do we think Mowbray's going to make any changes we don't know we've got a lot of new players to bring in we've got players coming back like Roberts is uh, expected to be back fit now yep. uh, Ballard and on Ballard, well, Ballard, he finished the Southampton game and he played last night for Northern Ireland, so he should be okay, ready to go. Is he going to bring Roberts back in? Is he going to keep Barr in? We'll find out on Saturday, basically. I think me and him agreed after last season that we're going to stop trying to predict what his line is, because we always oh. get it wrong. Uh, but I think we've got strength and depth now. We've brought him well. We, 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 we assume, we, we believe we've brought him well. Obviously, with the, the, some of the new players we haven't seen play yet. No. Um, but looking at the credentials and having trust in the recruitment team who haven't let us down yet you've got to believe that they've brought in the right players and I'm looking forward to seeing what they do in a red and white shirt Calm down licky arse Stop you, 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 your tongue is literally around the ring I have backed storm. the board from day one <laughs> and I'm not going to stop alright So have I yeah, Exactly Right let's go on to score predictions then Paul Right Stephen um, I'm going to go on first I'll let you go on first last time Yeah that's fine I'm not what the kids of that I'll let you It's just we're tacked, <laughs> oh, no. we're tacked home I give you permission yeah, Steve yeah. So I'm getting permission this time And I'm going to go on for QPR 1 Sunderland 3 <laughs> 3 one. Come on Oh it's going on that one <laughs> As Mel B would say On Bo Selector You bastard <laughs> um, I'm, 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 I'm confident we're going to keep Another clean sheet And I think we're going to I'm, I'm going to go Sunderland 4-0 I'm going Sunderland 4 0. I think, I think oh, we're going to be God. too much for QPR. I think we'll still be on a high. The players, because now we've got strength and depth, the players yeah. are going to be wanting to up the game to keep the spot, or people coming off the bench are going to be wanting to impress to keep their spot and things like that. I'm, I'm going in confident. I'm looking forward to the live stream. I'm looking forward to the game. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the, well, the season. To on, be fair. on Saturday, like that's what I mean. On Saturday, I'm going to get a few drinks in. Like I'll, I'll put a few frosty beers in the fridge. And we'll have a good live stream. Where we've got a challenge what we're going to be doing. But he wants to do I don't know why he wants to do it. Know, look, it's funny. It's, it's an old one. I'll tell you what it is. Don't do it, do it. Because then they can come and watch us on the live stream. You'll have to come and watch the we'll live stream. We'll be doing it at half time. And we'll I, I it think it's time. just going to be a catastrophe. It, it could be happen. catastrophic. It will be. It's going and to be it, could, it could damage all of his equipment. No, it, might, it probably <laughs> will. It probably will. But I'm sure we'll be but, fine. Yeah, just quickly talking about the, the recruitment this season. I'll quickly I'll touch upon it and I'll send out. note. I think all the players I've brought in, they've got, you know, they're not household names, yes, but they've got decent backgrounds, like, they've, they've came from, like, Pia, oh, I look around, how class he's digging this season, and he was saying in his interview, if you're watching, it's on YouTube, um, um, he came from, a, I can't remember what exactly, there was like an academy in France, mm. and it was like a certain um, 
group of young players and obviously they've clocked onto that and they've, yeah. they've kept an eye on him. Then he's obviously went to West Ham, he's been to Chelsea and the club have seen potential in the lad. And that's what it is. Some of these young players were brought in have got bags of potential and they're just waiting to kick on to the next level. Like, I'm re really looking forward to seeing Triantus. I really am looking forward to seeing I'm, him. I, I'm looking forward to seeing Rusin because we, 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 we were chasing true, him for true, a long, true. long time to make that deal happen and, he's, and it's done it. He's got credentials as well. He has, if I. you look at his games where he's played our 80 odd games Second leading top goal scorer last season for in the Ukrainian league, and he, he's done bits in that. So I'm really looking forward to seeing. I think, I think what, what's brilliant that we are doing, um, and I mean, granted, yeah, we're in the championship, but these days for the youngsters it, coming through academies, it's hard to get into the teams yep. because now it's the football's orientated by money. So instead of just let playing your academy players, they'll just loan them out, loan them out, loan them out, when they'll go, they'll go and spend big bucks on bringing a, a ready player in. Mm -hmm. Where like look at Man City, yeah, they brought Foden through. But look at some of the Cole Palmer, they've sold him to Chelsea. Chelsea uh, they've got other youngsters that they're just loaning out all the time. It's very rare Adam these Doyle days. Being one of them, man. Yeah, it's very rare you see these youngsters getting given a chance at their teams. It's, I think that's why Chrissy Rigg chose to stay with us rather than go to Man U or Newcastle. Because see, if he went there, he was never going to get any first team football. He might get loaned out. But here he's playing in front of 40,000 people every week, or every other week. And he's going to be get he's involved in the first team, it's, and it's, it's it's brilliant for his it's, uh, it's, development. It's attractive to young footballers what Sunderland's digging at the minute. Yeah, just to like touch upon what you're saying, and that is why we are bringing these type players in and they're wanting to come. There's been a time where you'd say, "Ah, oh, I'm not going on way up there, but no." Yeah. We're attracting the southerners, the southern footballers. But listen, it was accent. You would think he was from London. Oh, wait, wait. You know well, I, mean? I think he spent most, most of the time in London. Uh, uh, same with Alicia. We're yeah. attracting these players up here because they know they're going to progress well, develop well at a big club like us. So, right, the future's bright. It certainly is. It's us today, to be fair. Like, very, very that's why we're quite, I was going to say that's why we've got our caps on, but we always have. I'm parched. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying. Holding. Right, but, that's it. <laughs> no, go on, go for no, it. No, no, I was going to say, right, just to summarise. Two hours later. Yeah, Mark Ericsson shirt given away to only a channel member. We'll be drawn live on either Saturday or Wednesday. Yep. At, on, on, like, on YouTube, on the live stream. Um, obviously, like we've got the live streams coming up. Come along and watch it with us. Have a good big crack, as we always do. We've got a potential another three shirts to give away as yes. well. Yes. And we've picked which shirts they are. Probably so if you didn't like them, tough. I <laughs> didn't. You don't know what I mean? One of them, exactly. But. That's really it, isn't it? All right, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Are we the lads?